What does it mean to be great? Three, <laughs> two, one. To live out the best possible version of yourself. I think it's just achieving my goals and like allowing me to grow and like accepting that process. What it means to be great is knowing my history and knowing how proud and the accomplishments of my ancestors. Guess to like do something without fear. Uh, I feel like it means that you're a good person, like you care about others, like you aspire to be better than who you are every day. Look around. Everything that was created was created by people serving together. Businesses, cars, bikes. Even the earth we stand on was created by God to give rest to our souls and to serve him by keeping his commands of love. In the story of Matthew, the disciples were arguing about who was the greatest. Jesus called them together and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, their high officials exercise authority over them, but not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Yes, who would thought to be great among you would be actually your slave? It says, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Many believe that Greatness is about domination and dictating others, but Jesus flips it on his head and says that the greatest among you is your servant and slave. In the United States, those in public office, like the president, senators, and so forth, are called public servants because they are elected by the people to serve the people and not their own agenda. Now, according to Jesus, it is our willingness to assist others in becoming great, that makes us great. Martin Luther King Jr. echoed the same words in his drum major's instinct speech, that anyone can be great because anyone can serve. This teaching requires us that we get out of our head and see other people. It expands our world and widens our perspective so we can do greater things together. Again, Jesus shows us greatness and service when he had the audacity to wash his disciples' feet. In Philippians 2, 5, 7, it says, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature, God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. So at the end of our life, God will not be oppressed with our wealth, accolades, our earthly status, but how will we serve him and his people faithfully? How can I be a better servant to my family? friends, workplace, and network. So what do you think it means to be great? Leave your comments below.